Hello girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, my channel. Uh, thank you for checking uh, this video. Uh, I'm pipe maker from Croatia, Daniel Masran. And uh, this video will be all about uh, choosing the right block, choosing the, the really good and nice blocks, at least how I'm doing uh, that part of the process of making pipes. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the video. Choosing a briar block is always a tricky thing because um, when we are as pipe makers buying blocks uh, we usually buy them per quality class. Uh, you have two types of blocks. You have Ebochon and you have Plateau. And uh, I will show you only Plateau blocks uh, today. And I will, I have cho I, I chose several of them. And I will walk you through from worst pieces to better ones. And I will uh, tell you why I chose those as better ones. So hopefully you will understand uh, that even uh, if we buy a first quali quality of uh, uh, blocks, first class of quality of the blocks, uh, you cannot always get uh, the real first quality, you know. Because all of them are first quality, but not all of them are aligned and stuff like that. Some of them have dead wood and, and so on. So, uh, they are in general um, put in an order from worse to a better ones. So, close to the end of the video you will see really nice ones. And the uh, main part of the video will be, you know, around medium quality of blocks anyway usually what i'm buying recently is uh, only first quality and uh, i try to select those pieces from first quality and have hand-picked first quality briar and that's what i use for uh, pipe shows where i really need to have superb uh, blocks so without uh, talking too much because I already talked too much uh, let me show you the first block so it doesn't matter from where I got it I will not talk about the dealers but these are plateau blocks they look ordinary nothing special but in this block um, as you will see I'm using um, like a sponge to wetten the blocks a little bit so that you can actually see the grain so as you can see the grain is not that bad but the problem with this block <coughs> sorry the problem with this block are those two cracks I'm not sure if you will be able to see them but they are over there see so that's the first problem and if you make it, uh, are making a classical pipe uh, the grain is not fully aligned. So what we want to see in an ideal block when we are making a classical, for example, billiard, you want to see lines that are going like from the middle, from here and from the middle there, or just from left to right like this, you know, completely straight. And here, depending on the shape you want to make, if you want to make, uh, for example, volcano, you want to see a distribution like this. But if you want to make a billiard, you want to see straight lines. And then what you are looking are those spots here. As you can see here, you don't have grain, you know. You have just hair lines. You don't have those lines like here, you know. So um, how the lines are distributed and how well they are here as you can see here on this block this part is practically nothing you have grain over there and then you have a crack two of them actually so this part you cannot use because it will be only hairlines 
that is actually not a, a grain that we are looking for. So this block is, yeah, maybe I will use it for something, but I have to see that I lose those cracks, you know, I don't know. So the next block, I will show you the next one, just a sec, to wetten it down. The next block is a block that is particularly good for blasting. Why I'm saying this? Because as you can see, it doesn't have superb grain here, but what you can see, and it shows a little bit, they have lines like this. They are call, called water lines. And on this side, as you can see, also, it is not properly aligned. And um, it has a nice potential bird's eyes, but when you see on the bottom, it does have some potential, but from what I can see here, there are blocks that have those water lines really well pronounced, let me, uh, let me say like that. And those will be really, really good for, um, as you, uh, you see, there are no, no lines going like this, you know, uh, those grain lines, let's say it like that. And this block, even when dry, you can see the water lines for sandblasting. So what I like to do with these blocks, if they don't have a crazy grain, um, like they should, you know, for, for plateau, and um, if the grain here is not distributed like this, if it's slanted maybe, uh, what I like to do with these blocks, I like to sandblast them, you see? You can barely see on the video probably, but there, there are lines going like this. And those are lines that you can actually see when you sandblast the piece. So uh, this is about that one. And you can see that the bark is different. And if you clean it with using an iron, uh, you know, brush, you will see also that the bark look is different. I will talk a little bit more about the bark look a little bit later. I just want to show you that, the, that, that those don't look the same at all. See? And uh, the next one is even more different. See? So, on this one, let me check the grain. Those are all pieces that are put aside. Actually, not to use them or use them in some kind of project, I don't know, where I need to rusticate the piece or something like that. As you can see, here you can see the water lines going like this and going over there. So, actually, the water lines in general are going like this. And here you can see the block is clean. It's supposed to be plateau, but because those pins are so, they are not dense, um, the block doesn't offer any grain going from here to there. It's pretty clean of it. And from the other side, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. And you even have those water lines or whatever that will stand out when, when sandblasted, you have them like this, and instead they should go like that, you know. So this is a pretty confusing block, as you can see here, you see the water lines, but also you can see the grain lines going like this, instead they should go like that. So the block was it is not usable for a straight grain pipe at all or, or whatever. Um, I would blast it if I don't need um, a certain look of the blast. So when you have, for example, uh, let's say this kind of pipe, okay? If you have this kind of pipe, you want to have grain that goes like this along with the flow of the pipe, you know? And here, 
because it's so confusing you cannot count to have that flow you can count that you will have a good blast but with confusing um, brain pattern let's say it like that or blast pattern so this is a pretty confusing block and um, it is good for blasting if you want to use it on some crazy freehand pipe where you simply cannot flow, follow the flow with the blasting so um, or you can rusticate it it will be a perfectly good smoker but it's not for you know superb pipes top quality and stuff like that so moving forward we have an next block it is pretty much the same crazy kind of stuff let me show you the grain pattern it doesn't look bad but on this side and on this side see nothing you have some water lines okay but not enough grain lines and on this side pretty much the same it even has some kind of crazy dots it, it doesn't even have water lines that pronounced as it should so some of the grain is here but mostly very um, not tight at all and here pff, nothing so it is briar but what the hell you know it doesn't offer really much so these kind of blocks you know you cannot use them for other than maybe blasting but from this point this one doesn't look for blasting either so probably this will be used for a rusticated pipe or rustication and blasting after that or something like that in between so uh, not a good block the next one yeah that's an interesting one because it does offer some bird's eyes but unfortunately doesn't have uh, the lines so let me show you at least not the lines as you would expect with those bird's eyes here as you can maybe 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 see it does offer some birdies and on particular spots even really nice ones and on the bottom too look at it see it's not that bad but when you look at it on the side it doesn't offer lines that are really you know straight although this here looks good but you know it has a lot of dark spots uh, let's say it like that and here too you know you can you don't have much here you have something here but it's not dense enough so the block is pretty well, if you want to have a pipe that you want to show like birdies, that's okay, bird's eyes. But um, if you want to have also lines, this one is not good. That is why this one was sitting for some time in my box and waiting for um, the right pipe where I could use, for example, those uh, bird's eyes, but uh, not use uh, the line part of the of the pipe, you know, so line part of the pipe would be probably better to be like rusticated or blasted or something i don't know so it is a big one it's a big chunk of briar but somewhere in between you know so moving forward oh one thing you will also notice look of the briar depends also uh, upon where it was growing so if you look at this briar it looks like it has a grain it looks pretty okay but the grain is kind of you know not dense Line, lines are not one next to the other it is a little bit you know apart and on this side let me check yeah you have lines but those lines look like more hair lines than lines you know and as you can see top top is not too crazy bottom let me check yeah bottom has a little bit of birdies here and the rest is kind of wacky because the 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 grain is going like this and going here and curving so it might be good for some freehand sandblast 
because I cannot see that. I can use this maybe, but it doesn't look as good as it can look, you know. And on this side is pretty much dead wood. We call it dead wood because it doesn't offer much grain. So, you know, not a particularly good block. Yeah, this one is interesting because it is a mixed situation here. See? That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. And on this side, that does look quite interesting, if I may say so. That looks quite interesting. And also, if you check the front side, it's not sanded, so it will be a little bit difficult to see. But see, the lines are pretty much going like they should. And um, this side is okay. And on the bottom you have birdies, especially here. You have some birdies. Usually you will have lines like here, but birdies over there. So this is good, this is good, this is good, but this is not good. Uh, I will show you. This part and this part here. As you can see, this part here and that part here is dead. It doesn't offer grain. So, it might be good for a piece of pipe that will look like a horn or something. Because birdies will be here. Birdies will be in lines here. So, it might be usable for a horn. But... Definitely you need to remove this you need to cut this piece, you know that that corner because that's That doesn't look right. So this is a partially good block uh, For a horn yeah a little horn it can work, you know so the next piece of briar and as I said, it differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. When you see the bark, it's dense. You need to clean it to see if it will offer you something. It is a little bit difficult to do it by hand right now, but for the sake of uh, this video, I will just quickly clean it. You will get the sense of uh, how the surface beneath might look. So, as you can see, not too bad. Uh, it is not dense. It is so-so. And uh, the grain... Let me show you. The grain doesn't look too bad, but as you can see here, you have a lot of dead wood in between the lines so what we want to see are those lines stick one next to the other like here you know and this part is good but you have dead wood here you have dead wood here so this will be dark and you will have several lines going here several ones here few there few there so when you check this block it can be better you know it's not that bad, you will have birdies and stuff, but it can be better. And on this side, you know, it is a bit slanted. As you can see, the grain is going like this. It's not going like from top to bottom straight, or I don't know, from, from middle to outside and from middle here outside. But you know, it's like, so it's kind of crazy, you know. So. Uh, this is why this part of the material, this side of the material is looking like this. It doesn't look right. You don't have, you have even less uh, lines here than on the other side. So maybe a blasting or something, but you know, not too crazy of a block. Now I will want to show you something that's a really, that could be a really nice block. But unfortunately, <laughs> it has problems, as most of them do. 
finding a top notch block is a rare thing and uh, you know like one in in thousand selected blocks is really a good quality piece so if you see bark and if you see bark on this one you can immediately see the difference this crazy guy is this one is 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 super nice having super nice bark and this is well those pins are too wide they are not dense enough also this kind of block you see it is a difference it is a difference that kind of bark will offer you an interesting kind of bird's eyes pattern but it will not be dense so you know and um, we saw the, the the bark of this one what about the sides you see how strong the water lines are here even if you have lines and you do have them but you see the water lines you have lines like this from the grain and also the here from the grain but the the water lines are so strong and on this side it's even worse so to be honest if I wetten the block a little bit more to show you to be honest this block is no good you know even if it has a great bark but see nothing is happening on the sides and most of the uh, pattern is on the top layer and inside you have dead wood nothing the block is offering nothing it's clean so unfortunately as you can see this this piece of material would be great for blasting even if the bark is super nice so maybe you can use the bark sand it show the uh, the bird's eyes on the top of the pipe you, you can make a pipe that has uh, opening of the tobacco chamber here something like a Dublin or whatever and um, show the top and blast the rest you know because it doesn't offer you much and so we get to the two last pieces that I will show you these are from the selected blocks of the material that I save for the pipe shows and you will see why so the bark is not clean it doesn't look like too much but look at this you see what I'm saying so this is what you need to see a light color not dark color and on this side too light colored briar that doesn't have too many of these dark areas and on the bottom has a little bit lines here a little bit lines there because it's like 180 degrees almost a block that's why you have lines on this side and on that and in the middle you should have a little bit of bird's eyes it's dense so you cannot see them without staining uh, right but this block has some potential to be a really really good pipe okay so in compare in compare for example with where is that one with those clean blocks well I show you those those are uh, those are that that are uh, showed uh, earlier so this one should be a really really nice almost like a tiger stripes and um, this will turn into really nice pipe it is a small block but you know poison is a, oh usually served in small bottles so this will be a poison you know and the last piece it is not too crazy but when used properly it will turn into really nice pipe I think it is not too crazy on sides because it is a little bit slanted so the grain is a little bit slanted and that's why you don't have too many lines here and also not here 
but from what I can see and also the bark is looking dense enough so from what I can see you you have uh, birds that are not uh, sorry lines that are not shown here and also here but you can see that uh, the lines are popping from the bottom and also from the top like you know they are going out so when you cut the briar and sand it like to, to be like this to follow the lines that you can see here on the front I assume that if you follow those lines that you can see on the front you will great, uh, get great lines and line patterns also on the sides so in my opinion this will be a really nice block if you are able to follow those lines and I don't mind if they are not like from left to right if they are a little bit slanted because as you know I'm making freehand pipes and those freehand pipes usually are made according well I try to make them all of them according to a block that I have in my hand so the block is usually uh, determining uh, the shape of the pipe and uh, that's how it should be you know so um, yeah uh, I have a few of these great ones and I'm covered for the next show and I'm always removing those pieces from the first quality uh, batch that I get a fresh briar and I label them I label them <laughs> you cannot see it here but you can see on this one that's well, it I was wetting the block so you cannot see it good but this one is from October 2019 he's sitting uh, on my shelf especially for pipe shows and super crazy pipes uh, that uh, simply have to have another price because these pieces are really rare and um, even if you pay for a first quality material uh, out of uh, 20 30 blocks you will find if you are lucky few of them that are really really nice so you save those for the shows you know you can find uh, bark like this but then you stumble on on dead wood and you know the block is for blasting and that's not what we want you know we want to have a, a smooth potentially block that will offer us to make a smooth pipe with superb grain so that's about plateau briar for the ebochon pieces um, it is pretty much the same you know ebochon is not cut like this with bark but as a cross um, and if you are lucky you will get really great pieces uh, if uh, you are lucky you will get the cross cuts those are uh, ebochon pieces that are close to the bark and you have also ebochon pieces that are closer to the center of the of the briar uh, burl and these are not so hard and um, they are having a more confusing grain because uh, if you imagine a burl that is like a bowl if you go in the middle and you cut something from the middle then the grain is kind of confusing it is still brighter but you know you cannot have straight lines over there because it's not you know, maybe usable you know and if you go towards the 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 bark end of the burl then you can you know cut the pieces to to have them right and to have them um, be good for following lines and grain and, and, and make something from them that will look like you know okay anyway it is a long video hope you will like it because it's kind of confusing I have not prepared for this video other than I just pulled bad ones and good ones from my stash and just show them to you uh, well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.
Uh, have fun, be good, cool smokes, and enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye.